identify the lesion. Here we have two lesions depicted in the image, one on the dorsum of tongue. This is a more generalized kind of generalized it's plaque like okay it's present at the posterior one third also second is a palatal there is erythema whitish discoloration spots okay now let's have a look at the uh, options oral candidiasis lichen planus leukoplakia and none of the above now let's try to eliminate options one by one oral candidiasis scrapable lesions white plaques nodular kind of growth can also be seen and here it could be on any site tongue mucosa palate angle of mouth these are the features of candidiasis so from the given image yes it could be scrapable white lesion pres present on tongue and palate so all the criteria are fulfilled next is lichen planus Lichen planus would be more purplish with striae more uh, it would more be streakish kind of an appearance papular kind of a rash so here it's not very purplish not papular and there is no striae okay so lichen planus is eliminated leukoplakia history of tobacco is important it would be more localized kind of a patch and non scrapable looking at the first image okay we could consider leukoplakia but leukoplakia of the tongue is not as common as compared to the buccal mucosa even on the palate it doesn't look like leukoplakia because it is a more generalized erythematous form so leukoplakia is again eliminated now since oral candidiasis fulfills this criteria none of the above is also eliminated so the answer to the question is oral candidiasis so oral candidiasis the lesions are characterized by appearance of soft white slightly elevated plaques most frequently occurring on the buccal mucosa and tongue also seen on palate gingiva and floor of the mouth so this form of candidiasis is known as dentures stomatitis occurring because of ill fitting dentures due to candida albicans infection okay so this is important in denture wearers this one is associated more with antibiotic use or corticosteroid use causing immune suppression poor oral hygiene and all stress dietary factors these are some predisposing factors to oral candidiasis also known as thrush the plaques which have been described are milk like or curd like consisting chiefly of tangled mass of fungal hyphae with intermingled desquamated epithelium keratin fibrin necrotic debris and leukocytes with bacteria the white plaque can usually be wiped away with a gauze this is important because candida is scrapable the other lesions are non scrapable leaving a relatively normal appearing mucosa or an erythematous area so the given image is suggestive of oral candidiasis